Good morning. Hello, Faltopia. What up? I don't know why I have these on. We don't need those on. Good morning, everybody. How are you? Happy Tuesday. Oh, my hair looks crazy. I haven't gone to the gym or to the beach yet. I think I'm going to go to the beach this morning for my morning exercise. And I'm having my coffee. And I thought, let me just get on here with my people and say hello. Hi, Ken. How are you? Welcome to Valtopia, baby. Say good morning as you log in. Tell me what you're doing. What are you sipping on this morning, afternoon, wherever you are? Tell me what you're doing. And if you didn't catch it, last night I did an awesome fiery live stream for you. And I'd love for you to go watch it and let me know you watched it. Say hello. And I'm gonna share, I usually stream from my Valtopia business page, but this morning I'm streaming from here. I like to switch it up and see who's around. Let me share this over onto my business page so we get some Valtopians on there. And if you're new to me, say hello. Say, I'm new. Who are you? What's going on here? And I'll tell you all about it. Honey, join us live for a few. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to come on later for like a big old stream. Just want to connect in this morning. And I, I don't want you to miss out because I have something awesome happening this week. And I don't want you to miss it. So if you're watching, say hello. Say hello. Good morning. Yeah. So I want to tell you, this, this Friday we begin, we've already begun actually, Dream Like a Boss. And Dream Like a Boss is a special creative impulse that came through me a few weeks ago. I wrote the whole thing up and it begins Friday. And the people who have signed up are already experiencing powerful shifts in their life. They're waking up and oh, get this. I want to read something to you that came through yesterday from one of my viewers. Let's see, where did she put it? Oh, she put it in the permission too. And if you haven't signed up for the free permission too yet, honey, ask me about it. It's still up, you can go and do it. Let me see if I can find the link from this amazing person who wrote in to me. And I've gotten a lot of comments like this. So let me know if you're one of these people. And say hello. Say hello, yeah. Here, let me read this to you. I watched the day one of the permission too, which is the live streams that I transmitted last week for free for my community. Um, she said, wow, I knew I was supposed to do this, but I put it off until now. We are so connected. It is scary sometimes. And that's the way, hey, Lisa, that's the way those of you who tune in and feel my energy and you're like, oh my gosh, I know you. Hi, Lisa. I know you and I, I feel connected to you. And, and here's what she said. We are so connected, it's scary sometimes. I have chill bumps most of the time I watch you. If you have chill bumps most of the time you watch me, then come into one of my programs. You, it will blow you away. If you're responding to me just from my live stream, join into one of my groups. Come on now. She says, I listened to music last night for the first time in a long time, and I love to dance. It was magical. Thank you for making me do things I love and have been missing, right? You are so right on for me. I felt so different ever since I started watching you. I'm the queen here and I've straightened my crown and I'm doing me again and everything is falling into place so fast. That's from someone watching my free content. Hi Tori, how are you? So you can imagine what would be happening if, um, if you're in one of the paid experiences and you're actually having my one-on-one -on -one care and guide. Come on now, this is exciting. Who's here? I see numbers, but I don't see anybody making any comments. Come on now. So I was going to do some cards here this morning just to see what my reading is, and then I'm going to go and, and work out first before I tune in to everybody. And I'm going to just let you see what the message of my, what my message of the day is, and let that be message. Hi, Paul. How are you? Are you ready? Are you feeling the vibes? Because, um... Lara is already shifting and we haven't even started. And I did start uh, channeling through some of the audio yesterday, Paul. Did you feel it? I'm so excited. We, I was told there was 14 people in this experience and we don't have that many yet. So I will, I will be, I am opening up. 
to these next couple days. I don't know how, but I fully trust that everyone that's meant to be in this divine container and this expansive six week experience together will be in. And what I've realized is that like Paul and Lara, those of you who are drawn to be in this experience, you're star seeds and you're super cosmic and you are lit up in a special way. And you will know if this is for you and I don't want you to miss it because this is a special little container and community that we're creating together to tune into um, deeper parts of ourselves. Hey, Alexandra, welcome to, um, I feel a lot of heart chakra this morning. Is that you, Paul? Um, to uh, open up our clairs and um, activate parts of ourselves that we, we didn't even realize weren't activated, right? That's, I'm an activator, I'm a channel, I'm a guide, and it just happens. It's already happening for people that have signed up. So we start on Friday. Hey, Alexander, how are you? Um, Tara, what up, honey? I love it, it's my morning crew. So I'm sipping on some, some morning coffee. Hi, Ellen. And I'm just like, I'm coming on every day. I'm going to be on throughout the day because I, I'm, first of all, I love connecting with you guys. And second of all, I was given this gift. I was given this, uh, thank you. It's a, I like doing all the filters. I was given this gift. It's coming through for you guys. Hey, Tara, it's an incredible experience. If, <clears throat> if cost is an issue and you need a different payment plan, would you just message me, please? Because if you're meant to be in this experience and you're meant to come forward with this collective, and open up to all of yourself and like quantum leap your life right now with a very specialized crew. If you feel yourself called to this, would you please message me? Because this isn't about me. This is about those of you who are meant to be in this experience. And it's already beginning. And I think I'm gonna open up the group tomorrow because we start on Friday and the content's already coming in. Hey, Elizabeth, welcome. So um, I'm doing my own reading here. <sighs> I feel a lot of energy like up in here. Who, re who resonates with that? Especially right sort of down in here. There's a little um, uh, ball of energy kind of stuck in this area for somebody. I wasn't planning on tuning into anybody but myself and sharing my morning reading. So look at this. It's effortless and it's love and compassion. Hi, Robin. Um, it's, it, it, you know, I was saying on another live stream, why is it so easy? And we, we must ask. Ellen, you are curious to hear more. Okay, good. Who else wants to hear more? I have this thing I'm learning to get past that when I'm sharing about my beautiful, expansive, creative, life-changing content that I don't rush over it because I think that you're gonna run away because you think you're being sold to. That's bullshit. I'm not, I mean, I am selling a spot, but the experience itself is pure creativity and love and creation and there's no reason to sideswipe over something that's been uh, filtered through the, the cosmos for us, right? So um, it's a six week experience called Dream Like a Boss and we're gonna convene virtually and I'm gonna channel through what is guided for you and I've already begun. We're gonna have clearings, we're gonna have integrations, we're gonna have activations and we're gonna learn to tune into our own energy field more deeply than we ha ever have. I'm an activator. You have a lot of energy. Okay, yeah, I feel heart chakra and I feel some stuff right here. So I'm highly empathic, I'm a psychic, I'm um, claircognizant, clairaudient, clairsentient, and in a combination of all of my knowing as a channel and an oracle, I guide a, con a, a divine container for the collective to move us deeper into ourselves, to remember more of who we are, and to effectuate right here, right now on the planet, the magic that we came to do and be. And this particular collective, um, each collective gathers, you'll notice that there's a common theme for the people who sign up. And this one I'm knowing is for those of you who identify with the, the star seed or cosmic, galactic, um, celestial, otherworldly, you're curious about it or you know it's for you or you're drawn to that if you're highly energetic. Here, let me read what I read to you guys last night because it's so good. It's so good. Are you ready for this, Ellen? Hey, Lorna, how are you? Ellen says, lots of aligning going on in my house. Um, too many shifts happening. Told to log on and poof, you appeared. Yes, Ellen, let me tell you, that's how I write it into my journal. My soul clients find me, they don't know how or why, but they just see me and they sign up because they know. And this is, 
this is about us connecting. We've been looking for each other. I keep getting the soulmate card, and I know that it's not just about me finding soul love. It's soul love for my clients, because my business, Valtopia, is about love and creation. My whole why is to spread a ripple wave of love and compassion in the universe. And look, those were my cards today, right? Love and compassion. So, so Ellen, listen, this is for you. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you guys ready? You are one of the ones who backs yourself and knows deeply your core truth and feels your heart and follows your rebellious impulse because you have more energy than most. So much you're probably highly athletic. If you don't choose to move and flow your body daily like an Olympian, you begin to sabotage and implode on yourself with all the extra energy. You're probably used to stuffing that energy down to accommodate others and perhaps you even forgot a long time ago what you truly feel. It just slowly became what you did and that's why you're creative because it's disruptive to truly create a new. It's from what we had that we have something new. And you're used to stifling your own natural way of accessing your creativity because that's just the way it's been. You could see way beyond what is and feel what really could be and is in other realms of your perception and understanding when you let yourself truly feel that. And you're not typical in your perception. You're highly aware and pick up on a lot of subtle cues and information that many don't. You are uncanny in your ability to understand unseen outcomes and you are often told how perceptive you are. Is this ringing a bell, Ellen? Is this all you? You may identify with your ability to sense others' truth or way beyond to the point that you haven't even been able to share or express that side of you. And this is why I'm coming out. You know, it would be easy for me to make a class on how to survive post-divorce or how to handle narcissist relationship. I could get real basic with my dialogue, but I don't because I'm here to serve those of you who are a genius, cosmic, visionary, creative. Those of you who have such a level of energy and empathy and vision that you're not quite sure anybody understands what to do with it. And I'm here to guide you to your own wisdom and truth and to bring this down here right now. We desire your magic. We desire your connection. Your people are looking for you just like you guys are looking for me, right? Hey, Amber, how are you? Good morning. So Ellen, let me know if, um, I read the whole thing on a live stream last night. I would love, I'll tag you on the other live stream I channeled through last night. I read the whole thing and it was power. I was yelling at the screen last night. Um, let me know how this resonates. Let's pull some of, is Amber actually on the stream? I'm gonna pull one of Amber Annette's cards. So much truth. Okay, Ellen, well, I invite you to look at the, um, let me put the link in the page here so you guys can check it out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Let me put the link in the comments. Yeah. Okay, there it is. And we, there's a bonus if you sign up today. I think I put it in the comments. Um, oh, no, I posted earlier today. Um, and if, like I said, if this is something you're like, oh my gosh, I need to be a part of this. We already have members in there that are shifting just because they signed up. As soon as you hit the pay button, something probably will shift for you. Um, and you need a pay plan or something. Let me know. Hold on. Um, okay. Yay, that came through just fine. So let's pull from Amber's deck. I love this deck. And I, I was messaging her. I think I might go live in her group today because I went live a couple weeks ago and had so much fun. Um... I love doing the readings. I'm feeling some throat chakra popping. All right. Yeah, I love it. Clear my energy. I know, I'm gonna go do my beach run now. Clear sentience and new. So I'm feeling those of you that are new. I'm grateful to meet you, Ellen. I can't wait for you to check out the material. I trust that you'll sign up if you feel called. And um, do you guys have any more questions? Let me read. Let me see what my diagnostic deck has for me this morning. I love to do my cards first before I ever read for anybody else. And I'll come back on later today. Ooh, that went flying on my Valtopia business page. And I'll, I'll be popping up here and there. Yes, you are the queen of fire, spiritual revolutionary. You're here to 
burn away what isn't true anymore and to light a fire within those of you who are you, those who are drawn to you and ignite our soul purpose and passion and bring this down right here, right now. This fire is creation, creation and destruction at the same time. And like I said in what I was reading, if you're creating, you are destroying what's there and making something new. And for many of us, that disruption, that fear of disruption is what keeps us from our highest truth, our most expansive creativity and our true abundance, right? That fear of being disruptive, that fear of being a rebel, that suppression of your natural instinct to come down here and break shit up. Break it up and be yourself. Do what you came to do and be. What did you come to do and be? Put it in the comments. Let me know. I want to hear. Good morning, everybody. What's happening? I see a lot of people on the line. Say hello. All right, I'm going to pull from Uti's deck, too. Ooh, I feel energy all up in here. So y'all are going to, if you identify or resonate, if you're watching the replay, let me know. With this energy that's trapped up in here, you're going to need to come back on to the live stream later, and we'll clear it together. Hey, Lisa, what up? Let's see what the Uti cards have. Oh, these guys wanted to come through. Yes, find your voice. You know, if you have a tightness in your throat chakra, it's because you're not speaking the truth. Hi, Elizabeth, I'm not doing individual cards yet. I'm gonna go take care of myself first and go to the beach. It's maybe you, Paul. All right, well, we'll be tucking into that. Know, uh, honor your sisters and brothers and know your inner landscape. Know your inner landscape, and I really find that a lot of you that come to me um, haven't fully, I mean, we all continually discovering ourselves, but um, haven't fully known your inner landscape because there's fear that comes through that keeps you from tuning in and knowing the truth about yourself. And the clearing and the energy work and the sound frequencies will just strip all that away overnight, which can be disruptive um, in the best way. And you'll feel more clear than you ever have. And you'll be like, oh, I don't care about that at all. This is who I am. And then we're going to begin to lay it down in our journals. Do it with painting. Do it with singing. However, we're going to find a way to bring through who and what you truly are. Yeah, Elizabeth, turn on notifications. I'll be back on a little bit later. Because remember, you are a visionary. You are a creative, divine, revolutionary visionary. And you're here to be yourself fully more than ever. And by doing so and stripping away what isn't you, you change the fabric of the universe. You change the story of what it means to be alive. And that's fucking rad, honey. Right? All right. All right, now we're gonna do last card from my deck. And then I'm gonna go to the beach and get my run in, get my sunshine, hit my journal, do my own mindset work, and understand exactly what's meant to come through for us today. I'm gonna go channel um, the second audio for Dream Like a Boss. Um, I think I might channel uh, a sigil or um, I feel like there's signs coming through for this collective um, that will help to embody the shifts that we're intending. Um, simple pleasures. You know, the card earlier was keep it effortless, how to be effortless. Remember, you chose this. We did choose to come and be who we are. And remembering that and leaning into that more and more is what creates abundance for ourselves. So, all right, do you guys have any other comments? Um, Paul, I'm gonna open up the group uh, probably to later tonight or tomorrow. And I have some stuff coming through already for you guys. Let me know if you felt the shift yet. Lara was already, Lara's already fired up. Um, and like I said, there's, there's more of you coming into this container before Friday and I will be promoting through the weekend. So we have all the way till early next week to, to fill this up. And if you're having a financial issue, let us make a payment plan for you because you don't want to miss out on this experience of growing together with some really magical cosmic people, <laughs> the people that are already in there. Uti, look, it's Uti. I was just reading from your cards, honey. How are you? Oh yes, with gratitude, you come into a cleaner, lighter state of being, a deeper knowing for yourself. And you know, gratitude is a great way to shift out of some of the darker stuff that might be coming up for you. I know there's been some really kind of intense cosmic energy for some of us this week. 
Allow the magic, oh, allow the magic and illuminate from within. That is what we are here to do. All right, who else is here? Hey, Tracy. I would love to read for you guys right now, but that is not on the plan. I gotta go work out first and, and take care of me and then come on. But I wanted to get the message out and put the link so you don't miss. Let me say something. If you sign up today, Uti, I know, isn't it fun? Uti, I, I, just for you, look, I was just using your cards. I'm gonna pull a card just for Uti because, do you want a card? Because I love your card so much. <laughs> um, so, um, Oti, I have an amazing experience starting Friday. If you have any friends, it's very cosmic star seed oriented. It's called Dream Like a Boss, and it goes for six weeks. And I already have signups, and we're gonna have a bunch more before we begin um, on Friday. And we like, I'll be promoting through the weekend too. Um, so, listen to your intuition. Yes. Oh yes, and manifest your dreams, which is basically what Dream Like a Boss is about. It's about, first of all, clearing what isn't you and calling in what is you after you've kind of done this major investigation and release and energetic regeneration of yourself and then clearly asking for and deciding what is. Because for many of us who have big hearts and are super cosmic, we get overloaded with information and then we don't decide and ask for what we know we're meant to. We block ourselves from it, and that's BS, because uh, if you, we don't ask for it, then what is happening? So you can do all the clearing and humble uh, giving and all this, but if you don't actually ask for yourself what you've been guided to, we're missing out on the creation. We're missing out on the creation of our experience and really owning who we are and being and embodying the energy that our soul is guiding us to that feels right for us, that then allows us to call in the people around us that are attracted to us and want to move through things with us. So um, thank you everyone for signing up today and joining me. And um, let me pull an Arcturian light activation for everyone who watches this live stream and uh, come and watch me later. Ooh, lots of heart chakra feeling into the collective energy, heart chakra and throat chakra as usual. How's the root? Yeah, we need some grounding for sure. Strength, strength. All right, have a gorgeous morning and check out the link. Let me know what you think. Check out the link, let me know what you think. And I'll see you later. I'm gonna come back on later, later and bring it. Own your frequency, honey. There's nobody like you. Hey, Laura.